so I am filming today and like the weekend but um, it's kind of busy so we'll see what footage I get and then we'll see says I'll see you tomorrow when we're officially packing up the house to move. Eight hours later. to use cold water after washing my face just because I find it helps my skin, my pores, my eczema and then here I was running a little one bath I hadn't fully decided if he was gonna have one that night but we decided actually he needed some help chilling out so that's what we were doing and I accidentally dropped the bubble bath into the bath which was just one of those moments because I was feeling rather tired Okay, so I have film last due to packing take packing and moving taking over our lives a little bit. So I thought I would do an evening routine showing you how we cope with fireworks, uh, getting back into a school routine with an autistic little one. So honestly, little one is doing really well with the fireworks, he's not that bothered by them. Whether that is the case when he goes to bed is a whole separate thing. Um he's already had medicine, so the only real difference about medicine is that he is having it with chocolate orange cake and custard at the moment because that is his festive um, pudding of choice at this present moment in time. He does also like mince pies but he can't really have mince pies with medicine so um, the fireworks as I said don't really bother him but his feet are getting a bit yucky so I bought some Lush stuff that I know works on his feet. Well one thing that I know definitely will work on his feet. So the first thing is this pumice stone. So this is five pound from Lush, which seems a lot, but it does actually really work very well for mine and little one's feet. So we haven't been using this for a while, but I am gonna use this on his feet tonight. Then we also have this repeat orange foot roll. Uh, the woman in the store said this works great for um, feet that get cracked easily and you just put it on for several days until it works. Apply on toenails, cracked heels and dry areas, rub in and repeat until smooth and sorted. It won't take long. So we thought we'd give this a try. It's um, it's a very much like a lip balm consistency but a little goes a long way. It smells really sweet which he'll probably like and it leaves a slight film but it's not too greasy and he could go to bed without wearing anything on his feet which he hates doing so we're giving this a try and I will let you know if it's any good and if I'd recommend it then actually for myself I have eczema and this is around the time of year where quite honestly my the lips on the skin on my lips and just around my lips get really frustrated and dry and cracked so I use a lip scrub, the one I picked up for this time, um, and it's the one I tend to use the most at this time of year. 
and you can tell it's solidified but not to the container because when you shake it you can feel it moving is the lip scrub this is the mint tulip I find this one really good I may used to buy a Christmas scent one when they bring one out but this reminds me very much of Christmas and like peppermint candy canes those sort of things and then I actually bought this snow fairy lip mask our magical potion for instant softness supple lip gloss and sweet bubblegum lips I just thought for overnight it'd be really good and then also for like days where I want minimum makeup because it would give it a nice sheen pinkish hue while also moisturizing my lips in this dry dry weather um plus it smells like snow fairy which is like a bubblegummy sweet flavor so it's there for me I have my little one's bath he has a Christmas bath bomb in there, which we're still going through from last year. So it makes dry bottles running around. So we're still going through our bathrooms from last year. Um, I've put bleach down the toilet, etc., just because it needed doing. I tend to do that uh, every other night, just because, you know. Um, and yeah, I now have to get a little one undressed and in the bathtub. So hopefully that is an easy endeavor, we'll see but it's messed up so anything and I don't mean anything is possible and then over the next few days slash weeks I need to go and get the the Christmas PJs for at least me and him I don't know about everybody else um we have stopped giving them to him at her on Christmas Eve now he, that doesn't mean he won't get us that on Christmas Eve but like his festive PJs he gets right at the beginning of the season and he gets the most wear out of them as possible so um yeah I have to do that and if I can find the time with all this moving etc then I will do a Christmas intro otherwise I guess I will have to go on to somewhere like Fiverr or somewhere or figure something out and get somebody to create just a basic intro for me I do know everyone loves my intros and I appreciate that and I do try and put effort into them and I try and get them filmed semi early so that they're ready which is why usually the decorating videos which are the first two days of vlogmas are filmed in advance but um yeah I, I just don't know with this movie etc it's if it's even feasible for me to say yes I can 100% create this intro by myself um so I don't know I'm already kind of hoping that vlogmas will be a good kick in the butt to continue vlogging and actually just be really real with you about how the move is going because at the moment I'm finding it really easy to just kind of not pick up the camera and struggle privately behind the scenes because I, I really don't want to add too much sadness in the world especially when if we're gonna be honest it feels like a world of me problem when everything that's going on in Palestine is happening in Gaza you know there are children losing their lives just because of where they are and their religious beliefs and it does make me kind of feel like I, I don't have the right to complain so yeah remember we all we all have our struggles and everyone has the right to struggle and share those struggles if they feel the need to and yeah I'm gonna get a little one in the bath because he's shouting at this point and I also need to find his Paddington because his little Paddington figurine because he's managed to hide that and he's gonna want that at bedtime so let me get a little one ready and in the bathtub and then we shall we shall find Paddington together I think So while Mr. is in the bath, I need to to have a snack, some dessert, do some emails, do any last email checking. Alright, I just had to do a last minute email to grandma, those sort of things, just because I like to get those out of the way. I'm pretty sure he's just got the bath, so I'm going to sort him out and then we will start getting our shizzle together for bedtime. So 
know if you can see it in the background, but I thought I'd let you know that here I'm using the Lush Snow Fairy Lip Balm Mask that I bought that day. And then I'm just using the generic Primark moisturizer that I bought the day before. Okay, okay. So it's half past seven and the one here has decided that he's done having chill out time, which is perfectly okay. Ooh. Oh, actually, we need to do your your footsies and your teggies. So now we're going to brush his teeth because he shouldn't need to eat anything. And then I'm going to put this balm on his feet in hopes that it helps. So let me set you guys up and we'll go from there. Go sit down then. this Body Shop Sleep Calming Pillow Spray and I'm going to try the repeat balm. First we spray. You can just about see me now. Um, this is the time where I lay in the dark and I talk to friends, I watch a little bit of YouTube, and then while he falls asleep. So we're climbing in and we are also listening. Oh, bye bye like. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, so it's 10-ish o'clock. Excuse the hair. I usually don't run myself a bath like you saw. Um, I tend to shower at dad's because that's where my shower days fall. I tend to shower on Tuesdays, Fridays and Saturdays and the other days I have been at dad's so I've never really, I haven't showered a long time. Do I still clean myself here 100% but I like a deep clean shave etc. I don't usually do it but it was, it was actually quite nice, it was nice to relax um, and use some of the Lush stuff that use all night and the only thing I haven't done is balm my feet which I will do. I have the laptop here and obviously all I'm gonna do is sit and do some work for a few more hours, probably another 90-ish minutes and then I'm gonna conk myself out which will give me just enough time to get a little bit of sleep before a little one wakes up if he wakes up. I'm actually just transferring completed videos to my hot drive so I can take them off my desktop um hopefully this move stuff will be handled soon and we'll know more before the end of the week which is what we're hoping because we'd like to be sort of starting that move process of actually switching houses of such a quickly um and tomorrow we are um we're moving stuff from one storage unit to another because we found a better storage unit for a better price that's for three months so yeah Dad's gonna handle that tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna help him while I'm taking the little one to school and then I'll help him move stuff. So hopefully it all will work out and all will be good. <sighs> Let's get a little bit more work done. I chose to blur out the screen just because I was working on a couple of things that are just private and I doubt we'll ever end up on social medias. So I thought I would include this clip to show how I do multiple things as much as I can before I fall asleep myself at around 11ish every night to make sure I am getting up on time with a little one to take him to school. 